Hey guys, what is going on? It's Don here from Pandemic Playground and welcome to the Mars Research and Development Race Department. And today I'm gonna to show you guys how to create these garage doors. So let's get started. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna to need to know how many blocks there are on this gate. So you also notice that I put angle blocks just so I could ride better. So judging from this is what you're looking from. So I have eight blocks going up. So that means you need to count eight blocks back. And I already did this, so I already know where I'm gonna put my piston. And in here, I'm gonna put down piston number one, and then piston number two. Now, two things you need to do on these is to set the distance. And I set both of these pistons to, let's see, six, no, seven. And also, I do need to share inertia tension. So I'm also gonna name this, which is, I'm gonna name this right. And this is going to be rear and I know this one because it's on top of the other piston it doesn't have a name it's going to be right front all right now that we set those up we can extend the pistons and then we can start building so let's see right front right there you go reverse okay once that is extended I'm going to show you what you need to do with the hinges because you have to be able to merge everything together so it's a little tricky oh and I don't need that light because that light gets caught. So once everything is extended to where you're supposed to be, technically you could extend it out a little bit more, but I found this to be the best when there's a little bit of a gap. Obviously this is not gonna be airtight, so yeah, if you need something airtight, this is not for you. All right, got the blocks over here. Drag the blocks on this side as well, okay and we're going to start putting down hinges now for the hinges we're going to put down one and let me paint this one and start with the other ones as well but what you need to do is start removing everything that's how i painted that one so i know that that's the one but obviously that's the first one so i don't really have to worry about it make sure you aim correctly where it's green so you don't erase the wrong block Pop it down, and then now we're gonna put our first layer of wall. You can use armor blocks for this. Uh, I just use light armor, but you could use heavy armor or the door blocks. Now on here, I'm gonna go back to my hinge and use the other hinge, like that, and then drag that across. Once you're done with that, you wanna go to uh, any type of console, grab all the hinges that you just created, all of them, and just hit attach and now everything's just gonna block up together and then we're gonna do this a couple of more times so I'm gonna put this here same way find the hinge and pop that down change that color whoops change that color put the rest of the merge the blocks here the hinge blocks start getting rid of those Now I decided to go for two of the blocks just so I could put words like bay two. If you wanted a little bit more fluid, uh, you could just use one stack of blocks and then um, hinge one stack of blocks, hinge like that. It, that would be a lot smoother. It's just a uh, user preference at this point and how you wanted to get this in. All right, choose that block, drag that across. Make sure you go back to our console, grab all the hinges, attach, and we're gonna do this again. Grab another layer of blocks, hinges. So it's not too hard. I just haven't seen anybody do this. And this is a pretty cool, aesthetically pleasing door or garage door, you could say. And I just thought it was a pretty cool idea. That's why I decided to make this video. But I am still working on my garage. And that will be... I'm just going to show you the finished product later on once everything is done. Because I've been doing a lot of vehicle upgrades. And yeah, it would help just to have like some sort of garage to put everything. Because I have big plans. Big plans. Uh, honestly, um, I actually needed a crane for a project idea that I have. And... 
while I was building the crane, I was like, okay, why not? Why not shelter this in a building? And then as I was building the building, I was like, wait, this would look, look pretty cool with the garage door. And that's how these ideas stem. Okay, now that I got this in, go back to this hinge thing. Uh, go back to the hinges, attach the blocks, go back to here. And at this point, um, we're basically done and honestly what I could have done instead of using regular light door blocks I could have used like what I did over here armor door uh, Again, it's up to you and it doesn't go in as smoothly with these but I already did this so Let's go back and modify this. So now that I'm done with the door. I'm gonna go to hinge and I am gonna release all the torque so the door is now gonna kind of like fall and I'm gonna hide all the blocks because I don't want to see them anymore sometimes you might need to give it a little bit of a push um, so let me see if I could just reverse there you go just a little bit of a push would do now you need rotors and wheels just to keep it in its guide or else it's just the doors just gonna fall that's this is the main ingredient you could say so what I did was put a wheel here one by one wheel three blocks over I put another wheel and then I would put another wheel over here just in case which is I don't think this one is really needed um, I was just afraid it was too heavy at one point but you know I'm committed already so that's why this is staying and actually it's two blocks over not three blocks Okay, let's reverse this before I make a hotkey. Let's see how everything rolls up. All right. Now, I ended up putting another wheel here because it was like flopping back and forth. So I ended up doing another wheel right around here. And that's it. That is basically the creation of this door. Now I'm gonna name this group to be our right door. Save. And if I go to right door, hit reverse. It's gonna go back down. See how it just guides it in so it doesn't slam back and forth? This little door does that. And there we have it. Now another thing I did do to the rotors just to make it a little bit smooth is to turn off all the, let's see, the rotors. I think uh, these are the four that I just did. I just turned off all the torque and it'll just move around like a, like a little wheel. And that's it. I basically finished up the door. This one I used the light armor block that kind of fits this time, but that one works a little bit better. And you just need to put a key panel. Uh, since I have the grouping already, all I have to do is take the group, right door, and this one would be retract, and this one would be extend. And if I want to retract it, there we have it. And I'm going to retract this door. I'm going to retract both the doors. Why not? There you go, guys. Garage doors. This is all possible because of the latest update with the collision where the blocks could kind of like meet each other and doesn't collide. If it wasn't for that, this wouldn't have been possible. But yeah. There you have it, guys. This is the garage door. Anyway, let me give you an idea of uh, a quick walkthrough on how my garage is gonna kind of work. Um, it's bare metal right now. I have nothing installed, but I am planning to put up a crane. I, I need a crane like right on the corner over here. Uh, possibly a f floor lift, something that comes up from the ground so I could lift the vehicle up into the sky. Uh, parking areas and certain things that I could do stuff with landing gears and stuff so yeah this will be a work in progress but I am going to get this all working and squared away soon 
Anyway, thanks for watching. If you guys like this, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.